What is hoik? Is it just the noise that you make whilst trying to clear phlegm from your throat? Well, yeah, I suppose. But it's so much more than that. With its scenic vistas, incredible countryside, and fascinating history, there's so much to see and do here. But it all sounds a bit boring to me, so instead, I'm going to talk about some of the stuff I like. I lived in Hoik for 17 and a half years, so I know this town like the back of my hand. By which I mean, never really paid it that much attention. This is literally my grandparents' house. Can you get more insider than that? This is the moat. A tiny castle used to sit on top of this hill, and for some reason, we've kept where it used to be. I would like to point out, however, that there is not a moat here. There is no drawbridge, there are no alligators. I am sorry, Hoik, but this is a mound. As a bit of personal history, down behind me on that football pitch, my granddad used to take me, my cousins, and all the local kids to play football well into his 60s, which was a lovely gesture, but given the slant the pitch is on, it did mean the only place I could play after that was in the Mountain Goat semi-professional leagues. Hoik has a beautiful and multiply award-winning park that is genuinely something that I think everyone in the town should be proud of. I have only lovely memories of coming down here on walks with my dog or playing football on the pitches behind us. Also, I don't think there have ever been any bands in this bandstand. It's in this close that I first fell in love. Ah, uh, memories. Back then, the paint was fresh. So, uh, amongst other delicacies, such as rum and milk, uh, one of the things that Hoik is known for is Hoik Balls, which are a kind of pepperminty caramelized sweet. And I'll be honest, I have never tried these before. So, uh, wish me luck. It's like a tiny onion. I don't like mint. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. If you follow the road down behind me, you'll get to Stop's Prisoner of War Camp which was active and held German soldiers prisoner in the First and Second World Wars. It's also notable because it's the reason my great granddad first came to Hoik. Not like as a prisoner or anything, it was a lovely Canadian Air Force man who was just stationed there. Perhaps what Hoik is most famous for is the common riding, our annual summer festival that celebrates the defeat of a sleeping battalion of English soldiers by the young men of Hoik. Now a cornet is elected every year, who leads the men of the town on horseback to each of the corners of the land to make sure that no English people have snuck in. So that is roughly everything there is to know about Hoik, or at least everything I can be bothered to tell you. If you want to know more, just come visit or something. I don't know. I'm not a tour guide.